<laughs> hey everybody it's time to do the 1983 Fleer baseball this is the Tony Gwynn and Wade Boggs chase for amazing so. no Gelf's the one that like had somebody last year that was uh, that was pulling down I've been I was sniffling a little bit yesterday. I was almost a little concerned. I feel okay today. I'm just, I haven't really eaten, and it's been, uh, it's been a rough day. It's been a rough day. All right, this random is going to look relatively similar to the last one. My grammar has improved. That's good. I'm telling you, I get, uh, I sometimes get like a little bewildered in things when, like when the Gelfman is up a bee hole with Jesse, like trying to, you know, tell him things like what things are going on and stuff. It's it can be difficult. It can be difficult. Oh, the Ryan Sandberg too, Double O sets. I knew there was another one that I was forgetting. Nueve. Dude, Gelf would, I mean, if if he thought there was a market for, you know, bra like, deaf uh, collectors, he would uh, he would train a deaf, a deaf, you know, a sign language person to do it. All right, nine times is a number. Four and five and six and seven and eight. And nine times. Astros on top, A's on bottom. Let me just drop this in here. Yeah. And nine times here. So we've got Cubs, Red Sox, and Padres are chase teams in this. And the money shot. Kedis on top, Kedis on bottom. Um, uh, I don't even know. Padres, Joey, goodness. Uh, I'm gonna get a smaller version of that up. Honestly, don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Padres, Red Sox, Kate AC, and Sandberg was the Cubs, right? That's case. So let's let's get through this thing and then see what see what more can be accomplished today. Is a release day Wednesday. I will probably sell this unopened or empty box later, so I'll be careful with it. It's a value pack, only forty-nine cents per. So look at the look at the innovation. I want you to see what the innovation from nineteen eighty-two to nineteen eighty-three was. Two photos on every box and why this thing will not focus is frankly pissing me off users right. their same clear path clear plastic technology All right, double deuce Offering to take all of the Willie McGee's. I don't know. Jesse's a good dude. I mean, this is gonna, he's not really a collector. So it's going to take him a little while to get to used to the use of the game. But I think he'll, he'll work out. Okay. Well, at least it comes off much easier. Amazing what a, what a year will do. Okay. 
I think I like the look of uh, of 83 better, a little cleaner. And there we go, right off the bat, a Ryan Sandberg Cubs rookie card. And in excellent shape. Is it? Because it shows him playing for the Phillies in 81. Or is that just a minor league deal? What's up, Tiger? We playing we playing with some old stuff. Juan Abania. We are looking for Ryan Sandberg, Kirby, not Kirby. Uh, I really should have eaten today. Tony Gwynn and Wade Boggs, rookie cards. Plus, we have got the Topps Archive Signatures in the house, which is, I don't even care what everybody says, one of my favorite things. It's old cards like these, bought, bought back, autographed, numbered, stamped, sealed. Goodness all the way around. And I got to get rid of the Origins football for Monty. He has requested it, so it, it must be done. I gotta tell you, the general general centering of these uh, is better. Is this really how you want want to show yourself? Doing with a cup, with a cup. Yeah, I was. Gwen and Puckett were like two of my favorite players growing up. That's why I think I just got them. Got them names squared squared up. And more Joe Morgan while he was still playing. Bill Bucks. My God, look at those eyebrows. And why won't you focus? I mean, seriously, man. I can't. This non-focus is upsetting. I need to touch at least one freshly produced. There's a Carlton Fisk, too, that's in either this set or the other set that he told me had some value. But I honestly don't know why. All right. Ron Kettle, I will do my best. I'm going to get everything, give it everything I got. Jeff Reardon, I remember that dude. Mookie, Mookie Wilson, doesn't he play for the Mets now? Isn't he like a like a young star for the Mets now? Man, he has been in the league a long time. And yes, that was a horrible joke. Terry Francona of all, I mean, of all things. Al Cowlins. I'm not even joking. Is this like, is this OJ's dude? Or am I, am I thinking about somebody completely different? And let me look at one thing. Okay, I, I, that was an honest question. Why won't you focus? You know the pucket or the you know it's in here. Why do I keep saying pucket when I'm looking for Gwen? Is it racist? Is it racist because they're both like a little small and a little chubby? And I think they look the same. All I hear is Al Cowlings. Or Cowlings, I don't know. What's this about? 
What's this about here? Do you have to find the other one and then tape them together? It's black and blue, bud black and vita blue. Ooh, now now we've got a construction set. We've got to find. What's up, KR plays? We've got one Ryan Sandberg rookie card so far. We require a Tony Gwynn and a Wade Boggs before before it's over. And we have not have not hit our auto. And we still have that horribly, uh, horribly racist Indians logo. Yeah, this, the vintage breaks, guys. I mean, because this is part of the, part of the deal is, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, pump him a little bit. He's gonna be going live like a couple of days a week, uh, soon. And, I mean, he's gonna have, I mean, better stuff than this, but, I mean, still just like some older, cooler kind of stuff that you can potentially find some awesomeness in that uh, you couldn't just go to your local hobby shop and uh, and grab Kirk Gibson he's happy he is excited about that picture I would be too Hey, there it is. There it is. Wonder Twin Powers Activate. Should I just get like a piece of tape and put it on the back and then make like a, put it in one of those like 5x7 top, uh, top loader things? That's hotness. And another one. Ooh, we could somebody could get like a whole big ass set of it. Candy Maldonado. Onyx Concepcion. That is a good name. I would name my daughter Onyx. I think if I was okay with her being a stripper and I'm not though so maybe middle name middle name Onyx Ned Yost I love these pictures. It's just him signing a, a whole bunch of balls in the back. It's great. I should seriously see if this guy could get me like one of these boxes. Uh, let me let's okay. A day is like way too too much, but like a week, just for the pure enjoyment that I am getting out of this. I mean, I, I'm. You guys have to be feeling the feeling the same. It's just epic. The pictures, the names. That's a Ricky Henderson card. Again, one of them is one of them is valuable from the eighty-two or the eighty-three set. I'm not hundred percent sure. We'll figure it out later. Hey, Cal Ripken Jr., why couldn't uh, you have been in the last one in this clean variation? No, I mean, is it just me that's uh, 
this like half entertained by this. Unless I get we're not going to do this like every day, all day, but. All is uh, all taken care of. I don't whatever. If it, I, at this point, I mean, as long as I am uh, enjoying myself, that's gonna carry over, I think, to you guys. A Tommy John again, very famous guy because of his. Hey, there it is. There it is. Is that a uh, arg? Give me the give me that proper top loader. Is their logo a doo doo? No, I guess not. Tony Gwynn rookie action. This is what's this is what's fun about it. I mean, six bucks. What I mean, whatever. You're just. I mean, again, the centering is bad. But at the same time, it's a freshly pulled Tony Gwynn rookie card. So now the Wade Boggs is the next one we need to pull. Now we need a Wade Boggs. Bucks Country, Cop Scott James. You enjoying throwback? I mean, look, look at this. Look at this. I mean, this guy is just like yelling and pretending to. Well, maybe not. He maybe he's not pretending to hit the uh, camera guy. Maybe the camera guy's done something to anger him. Bill Buckner, those are world class eyebrows. Do even the. I have to, I mean, just this, I mean, this to me is like just too special to not show like super action of, hang on, it's going to give me, that is what I'm saying. That is chest hair up his neck. That is a manly man, folks. That is a manly man. Oh my goodness, Billy Buckner. They don't make them like that anymore, folks. They do not make them like that anymore. Oh, you, you probably... That's, that's probably why the... Uh, picture is cut off like right at his waist because if you any further down and it would just be just giant uh just giant bush all right come on wade box let's finish the, let's do the trifecta in here let's do the let's do the trifecta Seriously, I'm going to have to get Gelf to talk to this dude about some, about some affordable air weirdness. Cardinals and Rangers, the logo, and my, our always popular Mike Schmidt, who was already looking old in uh, 1983. Mike Stanton. What? Mike Stanton? Mike Stanton? What is that about? Is he 
could he potentially be the strongest man in all of baseball? Uh, he's a pitcher, so that answer is going to be no. I'm having too much fun with this. This is too entertains me. It's going to be a it's going to be a trick to uh, get this room rocking and rolling again after this is over with. Hey! Trifecta. Trifecta. Wade Boggs. Get in your home, Wade Boggs. And, of course, Gelf left the... Uh, left his computer on so I can hear myself scream after... After everything, man, let's get him down square. Um, yes, yeah, centering is, is pretty solid. The only thing I can't tell if it's like the that corner. Why, why even do this? Look at this one corner, though. Like, there's something I can't, like, I don't want to pull out. Let's just pull out just a little bit. Just by the top loader. There we go. That one corner, like, looks like a little weird. I mean, you think you just like trim that off? Like, it looks, you know, cut funny, not dented exactly. Like not, you know, not like busted, but just like a little weird, a little wonky. Still. I think I actually met him once. Exactly. Nail clippers, 100% to take care of it. I mean, just use the, like, use your toenail ones. Because those are the ones with the straight edge. Don't use the uh, fingernail curved ones. Tippy Martinez. The names are as good now as they were back then. And now let's just see if we can double... And or triple up Ken Griffey. I can scribble a junior on there. Get somebody some uh, some serious scratch. Yeah, I wonder if they would be able to tell. I mean, just get yourself like a little exacto knife. Or I mean, I can just take this and you know do a little a little shave down on it. Nobody's gonna know the difference. All they're gonna see is a clean edge and a uh, and a ten. Is what you're gonna get. Cardinals and Indians, unchanged logos. I mean, this guy just hanging out, enjoying himself, having a good time, because he's on he's in the big leagues. He's in the big leagues. The Gwen I would not mind having. I mean, I don't know what I wouldn't I don't know what I'd do with it, but and so far, we still only have one complete set of the uh, of that one that they cut in half, race based. That's an Angels. That's a, that's a different one. The other Henderson. I do not. I don't know which one he told me was. I swear, one he told me was fancy. One he told me was not. I seriously want to see if it's still sticky, KR Plays. I might have to buy one off of one of you guys just to see if it if it's still sticky and put it on put it on my monitor or something. Ozzy Smith. How long? How long had he been playing in 1983? A little bit. Quick minute. Well, wait. I didn't know he played for the Cardinals before he played for the. I mean, the Padres before he played for the Cardinals. I learned something today. Isn't that the important thing to learn things? We're almost done and we can get get back into get back into the modern hectic world that uh, bump wills 
would uh, not be familiar with because he's just enjoying himself in the in the Cubs dugout. I this card makes me happy too. This card makes me happy too for some reason. Floyd Chiffer. These ne All right, I am not going to uh, turn that down. Thank you, Kate AC. I wonder if I got that thing graded. What do you think the pop report is on a bump Willis? A graded bump Willis card. What do you think? What do you think the pop report is? I mean, look at him. He looks. Uh, you know, he looks happy. He looks. He looks like he's having a good day. You know, enjoying the sunshine. Oh, look! He's even like all kind of spread out. Like, look, if you notice the legs. He's uh, he's spread out like maybe somebody's playing with his uh, butthole. We're not we can't be a hundred percent sure because it's cut off. But you you know some <laughs> something like that. Is it? It's a trick of the light or it's a massive boner. One of the two. One of the two. <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying this too much. Bump wheels. That's a good porn name too. I, I I like it as a porn name. Dan Quisenberry. Holy cow, man! Holy cow! Look at those dead eyes. More Dusty Baker when he was actually playing the baseballs. At least they're not covered in cocaine like the, what was it, like 2012 Prism Draft Baseball. I would have, I would not have minded some gum, like, so I may request, there's another bump if some, I mean, you can, we can have matching bump wills cards. I have to find out more about this guy's career now. I am, I'm interested to see how he got started, what he's doing now. Straight Vita Blue, that's the first one of those we've seen. Must be short printed. Must be short printed. Ugh, only four more. Only four more. It was uh, it's, it was popular. The porn stash was the, apparently the way to go. Back in the day, Steve Garvey getting ready to get naked. Bruce Bochy. All the managers are in 1983 Fleer Baseball, apparently. All of them. You know, something else that I like is the glasses. I like the people like wearing like wearing the big glasses. You don't you know you don't see ever anybody wearing glasses anymore. I don't know that I've seen any Willie McKees. Have I just missed them? I mean, I'll definitely put a note for the uh, sorters and packers to check. Come on, let's let's do one more, one more piece of rookie magic. Come on, you can do it. I mean, they even had inserts, Mister Vet and Mister Rookie. Andre Dawson, I was always a fan of for some reason. I'll, all right, do you think that he did he have this professionally colored, or is this or is this au natural?
I mean, I can't decide, like, which... How do you get, like, black sideburns and the bottom of a black uh, Fu Manchu, but, like, blonde hair? Ed Glenn, you have piqued my curiosity. You have piqued my curiosity. Chet Lemon, another one. My uh, cousin, when I was like doing a whole bunch of these, used to play a game with me. Like I would buy packs of cards because my, again, I believe I've told this story. My dumbass was searching for a uh, Ken Griffey Jr. rookie uh, card that did not exist in the set uh, for purchase. Um, and like we would each like pick out like three cards and do like who which whoever had like the like higher home run totals but he, like he watched you know a lot more baseball than I did at the time I was I was fairly new to it so he would pull like the uh, Andre Dawson's the Chet Lemons who had been there forever and I would almost always get crushed in uh, said game I don't know the stickers look in pretty good shape they look in pretty good shape Come on, one more, one more for somebody. Hey, still three, all three of the hot rookies. Six dollars, Migs. Six dollars for a random team. And uh, thank you.